The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. Ah, oh, the WWE Universe letting him hear it. Well, if he didn't realize it before, he sure knows now this crowd can't stand him. They're absolutely showering him with booze. And it almost seems like he likes it. And approaching the ring from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, The Undertaker. Ah, oh, this match is going to be exciting. I can almost guarantee it. This will undoubtedly be one of those SmackDown matches you talk about for a long time to come. What a night we have in store for you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Michael Cole alongside Jerry the King Waller on what should be an amazing night of action. Yeah, and I don't know which match I'm looking forward to the most, Michael, but what I do know is that we're just moments away from kicking this thing off. Absolutely, Michael. This one's going to be great. your thoughts about Chris Jericho what are your thoughts on Chris Jericho definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment we're going to find out a lot here tonight head to head no excuses let's get it on Chris Jericho likes to think that the Undertaker is merely a man but I disagree with that there's something truly supernatural about the Phenom back pain could be dull achy sharp or stabbing this might be a case of all the above. I agree. Dull, achy, sharp, and stabbing. Oh, out of nowhere! Perfectly executed. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Yeah, none expected and none will be shown. Quick thinking to avoid that. Not 
today. Too fast. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk about a direct hit. Chris Jericho doing a great job of turning that around. Oh, out of nowhere. Oh, if you're not careful in there with The Undertaker, he'll tombstone you straight to hell. And I mean that almost literally. Barely any damage has been inflicted so far, but this one's not over yet. He might be trying to take out the leg here. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Wow, that overhand punch started down behind his feet and just kept coming. Woohoo, man, that came out of left field. Now, of course, the tombstone is Undertaker's signature move since day one when he stepped into WWE at Survivor Series in 1990. Oh, poor Coco beware. He didn't even see it coming. The shoulders are... And the shoulders up. And the match continues. I love this. Oh, Undertaker, he can't believe that almost happened. Man, Chris Jericho, what offense. Wait! Is he still conscious? Man, that looked bad. Get some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. We're looking at complete domination here. Great hold being applied. I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he gonna do next? Don't try to tell Jericho he's not the best in the world. He'll never believe you. The Undertaker is at the apex of his evil powers as the leader of the Ministry of Darkness. This group lurks in the shadows and inhabits a twisted underworld that's better left unseen by human eyes. I know something about the Undertaker's ghastly rule as the leader of the Ministry of Darkness. I was a member of it, an acolyte. Uh-oh, there's the lion salt that's gonna end right here. All right, and boy, what a vicious lion salt. Man, he's got to feel great. You want to talk about crowd pleasing? Oh boy, that was a spectacular performance. Here's your winner, Chris Jericho. He gets a victory here tonight. Love him or hate him. That was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. Great effort from both these guys, Cole. I'm willing to bet this is the last time we see them square off. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.